What's up YouTube, it's Kevin here, the Migraine Guy, gonna start a new video series here on supplements that you might take in addition to whatever medications your doctor's prescribing. Uh, if you're like me and you don't sleep well, sometimes not sleeping well, like getting a really crummy night's sleep one night might be kind of a, a precursor uh, to getting a really intense migraine within one or two days. Uh, it certainly is for me. Uh, and I know poor sleeping when you have a migraine is pretty common and that can sometimes just, you know, kind of have a domino effect where you have a bad migraine, you don't sleep well, the not sleeping well feeds into getting another migraine pretty soon. Uh, and so it just kind of continues. So if you can get a good night's sleep, the doctor uh, was thinking that might be a good way to at least reduce some migraine intensity and frequency. Uh, uh, and so I was willing to try it. Uh, my wife also had tried to get me to take some melatonin uh, beforehand just to, as a sleep aid um, because melatonin is kind of the, the sleep hormone that your body produces. Um, uh, it's produced in the pineal gland, I believe, uh, but the, the thing that initiates the release of it in your uh, hippocampus, I just wanted to say this because it's kind of a fun word, uh, in the hippocampus there's an area called the suprachiasmatic nucleus. Uh, try spelling that. And so when that uh, center is activated and your pineal gland starts releasing uh, melatonin, uh, which occurs uh, in the absence of light, so when you're in a darkened environment or the sun's going down, that's what activates it. So melatonin is also kind of nicknamed the, uh, the Dracula hormone because it only comes out at night. Um, so... This uh, particular uh, bottle that I have was five milligrams, the lowest dosage I could find. The doctor, uh, I, had, I had taken melatonin before talking to the doctor about my poor sleep uh, and hated it. Absolutely, I mean, five milligrams is pretty low uh, and I was even biting them in half or even in quarters to just get like one, one and a quarter milligram uh, uh, because uh, I would sleep better. I would sleep better uh, when I would take it, but the next day, I would just feel like crap. And by crap, I mean just groggy, kind of foggy, hard to think clearly. Uh, uh, and as some of you know, I'm in graduate school, and so that's a downside already, right? You gotta kind of be intellectually on your game every day uh, and feeling groggy and run down. Even getting a good night's sleep uh, is kind of detrimental. Um, in addition to the fact that it didn't seem to do anything about my migraines, I would still get them and feel like crap. So uh, two strikes on that count. Uh, uh, so I just, I just stopped taking it so I don't sleep that well. Uh, a lot of people do find it. I mean, like my wife has taken it before and she doesn't get migraines and she certainly doesn't have a, a typical problem sleeping. Um, and it does help her sleep better when she takes it. Uh, so it might help you if you don't sleep well, certainly something to consider. Uh, of course, you have to be kind of concerned with any supplements, right, about uh, the, the brand. Is it, is, it, is it reliable? Do they have a bad history of not uh, either putting in the ingredient that they said they're going to put in uh, or putting in some of the ingredient they said and then packing in some other stuff that's similar. Uh, supplement lines are pretty hit and miss uh, in the States anyway. Uh, so you got to try to find a reputable brand, a uh, brand you can trust, um, and then find a milligram dosage that kind of works with you to avoid perhaps any potential side effects but get the benefits of a good night's sleep. So that's melatonin. Uh, let me know in the comments below how your experience is either similar or different than mine. Uh, if there's something besides melatonin that you found or a particular brand that works better than maybe a different brand, this is just natural brand. Uh, I was at our grocery store, just wanted to give it a first stab. Um, so if there's a particular brand you like, uh, let me know. Uh, be sure to subscribe, and uh, I'll be putting up some more videos soon. See you later.